Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Last time I finished up War from 4 and I beat Engine. And this time I guess I'm starting on uh, collecting the 5 remaining crystals since Cortex was apparently displeased by the fact that I didn't die even though I'm the one collecting the crystals for him. Oh yeah, let's uh, do uh, piston it away. This one will be very side scroller focused. Let's see. I guess this is like sort of. I don't know what we would call this a factory level. This is supposed to be like the fate, the space, and like future. Uh, themed workroom, and for the most part it is, uh, there is one exception to this. So, yeah, let's see. Last time I, uh, I tried recording this, I missed, like, four boxes. I will try to be more observant. I actually don't know how many boxes I missed, I forget how many it was. There's like, at least two, I think. So I, I did not check the recording and see where those two boxes would have been missed. Hopefully... I will... actually find them, I guess. Yeah, we got these, uh, weird things. Let's see. Yeah, we have some, uh, cortex symbols, uh, along the walls, uh, so I guess if you really had no, uh, indication that cortex was the villain, then all of these ends and faces of cortex would be, uh, your big hint that maybe you're exploring a level in Cortex's uh, area, I don't know. Although if the crystals are here, it's implied that he already owns it. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> maybe I should like not even bother trying to analyze the plot of a platformer. That seems like something that's a bit silly to do. Alright, so I am back here. Let's try this again with 100% less dying. Because there's a skull platform. Now, I'm going to activate this skull platform. Just so that it stays, you know, activated, even if I die, like so. <laughs> because, as you saw, at least I think you saw I, my short uh, memory span, whatever, completely forgets if there were boxes in that stretch or not. You want to leave that guy alive? As we deal with this new mechanic. Now, I've kind of been, I guess, failing to address that these guys obviously switch. They're pretty easy to deal with. You can spin uh, those uh, balls of energy away if you're uh, precise enough, but you know, I guess I could have saved this bonus for a bit later. Actually, I think the nitro switch is on the uh, skull route. Never mind. Let's see. Wait. possible to... I don't think I did that. 
in uh, my previous recording. So, that must have been the three boxes that I missed. In which case, how was I supposed to... Well, I'm getting ready to find out how I was supposed to handle those nitro boxes. Because I have no idea. Oh. I see. Mm hmm Well, I definitely didn't do this, uh... Before... Huh. I barely even took notice that there were these, uh... Three boxes here. So... yeah? Okay, I made it. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. All right. They're right here. Well, that's one mystery solved, I guess. Okay, I was thinking that I just didn't, uh, bother with the, uh, the boxes they had to jump up with, with the, uh, what would you call the arrow boxes that you jump on. Okay, good. So that should be, uh, what I missed there, because... I really just did not want to even, like, take the effort to rewatch that footage. Alright. Hmm. I should have saved that checkpoint. Oh well, I suppose I'll, uh, I'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. This is why I, uh, I did the uh, whole, uh, already getting the skull platform. Hmm. I have to make sure that question mark block was it. That question mark block was it. Let's see. Now I make the trek back. And this is why it was a good idea for me to save the checkpoint, which I didn't do. Because... If I die between now and getting another checkpoint... Yeah... Especially since it's so easy to die here. Okay. All right. So I have 38 boxes. All right. That is, uh, that down. Let's see how, uh, how long it uh, lasts as I just stop talking to concentrate on the game for a long stretch of time. That was another problem with the previous recording. 
I just didn't talk for long periods of time, and I just... I honestly just completely forgot that I was supposed to be commentating. I was... And it's just playing the game, I guess that's good for the game, that it can just be enjoyed. Let's see. Oh, here's the checkpoint. Let's see. Okay. This section looks like I need a mask for it. That somehow worked. Good. Let's see. Also, you will notice that, uh, this section is 100% less possible to, to do, uh, the backtrack for. I mean, maybe you could if you were, like, majorly skilled at it, but, you know. Uh, I'm not that I'm not, I'm not even gonna try That was pissing it away. Let's try a uh, rocket go into the, uh, level. Oh, I love this music. What is the game doing now? I feel like my problem with, like, the lag has gotten worse. Like, just for my own benefit, I, uh, I tried to record, uh, the, uh, Legend of the Guardian, the Owls of Gahul on my PS2. Uh, and when I went to watch the recording, like, it was fine, except during, like, every single action scene, the... It just, like... The recording just sped through all of them because it was lagging as it was recording it. Let's see... So, I don't know, I, I really just need to get this new laptop that I'm trying to save up for. Also, I suppose it would be a good idea to explain the controls of this jetpack section. Uh, see, so, first of all, it's inverted, so down is up and up is down, right is right and left is left. Uh, to move forward, you hold the X button, to move backward, you hold the circle button, square spins like it normally does, triangle is status like it normally does, and whatever the shoulder buttons do, like they normally do. Yeah, you obviously can't spin it. Uh, let's see. Oh man, this, uh, this is gonna be a pain to edit. Alright, so... Yeah, so here we got, uh, I guess, a new enemy. Spin them, and you will eventually spin them into the fire as I screw up the timing on the back here. I to hit the TNT again. Good music. Let's see. Oh, I, that was easy. Anyway. I suppose since I've been like 
playing this, or trying to at least, uh, like, take into consideration things that they could have, things that they could do in the remake to improve the game, uh, what, 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 what's the top right now, or top left? What, what is, is that also for just, What? Huh. Those like, why is that, like... Whatever! Just bend this guy into the fire, kill him, remove the fire, somehow open the door by, uh... hitting something at it in the opposite direction that the door was gonna go. Um... Anyway... The Wumpa Fruit uh, disappeared. I uh, will have to make a note of that when watching this when that occurred because I, I, I wasn't paying attention to it. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, the, the crate got busted. That's the important part. Let's see. What are we doing with this? Okay, good. Remember what the controls do. Oh yeah, uh, controls. I guess they could improve that for the remake, like make it not inverted. I think most people just don't like inverted controls. Or else just give you the option to change it if you want. The earth at? The earth is up there, I can't see it. I think that's where it is at any rate. Let's see. I guess I haven't, uh, well, I've never really attempted, uh, this. Unless it's a trick you can only do in the PAL version, where you can just, only, like, spin them once, but then just keep going. Uh, and you can even just fly through the fire. Yeah. Do I want to try it? Sure. Going? Oh, I guess. Maybe you can't fly. I don't know. Not a good trick. Oh yeah, there's the earth there. Like I guess maybe you just have to like fly at him. Uh, well, just like not hit him. Like I was just, I was just hitting him like an idiot. Just trying to dodge him. Now I guess maybe. You yeah, there's something I'm doing wrong, I'm sure. I wonder if these, uh, if this level still gives you a pity mask. I know the ro other rocket level has a mask. But it's really just not a level that's designed for, uh, use with a mask. Well, designed to uh, have them. Really, not a level that's designed with you having a mask in mind. I think it's like it's just something that you can just take at your own pace. I suppose just since like everything's pretty much easy to dodge. Anyway, last level, if my, uh, computer can permit me to record it. Spoilers! It can't! This is post-commentary, because this set, this level, just, uh... My computer just really hated it. Like, you see speed up there, and, uh... I just fell into a clip, or a, a hole. Yeah. Uh, basically, this, I guess... 
when I tried recording this, it just, I don't know if it was my laptop or the or recording equipment or what, but it just hated this level and it was only during this uh, recording session because I tried re-recording this level, it was fine, you know, no problems. Uh, basically what happens is uh, what I call lag, I probably should just start calling what it is, and I think what it is is that it just, the recording itself drops frames. Like, uh, so whenever I'm playing, uh, it just looks like, you know, it's slowing, the game is slowing down, it's lagging. And whenever I, uh, watch the video itself, it, it looks like it's just speeding up, because every frame that gets dropped, it just, it, it gets skipped in the video. And this level, like, I don't even know what the audio is doing, I'm not even gonna bother changing whatever the current audio is. Uh, it's currently playing at 98.7% speed, because that was what I thought it was, uh, uh, gonna be best to match up with the video, but even then, it has problems, like, I kinda gave up at the end of the last episode trying to get it properly synced <laughs> up. Uh, but yeah, this level, uh, I'm pretty much, I don't even think I've made it into the, uh, the checkpoint yet. Uh, watching, oh, there's the checkpoint there, I guess that was the rat that killed me last attempt. But yeah, basically, uh, what I, what it amounts to is just trying to remember where the holes are, and also there's the skull platform. Uh, I didn't really care about the skull platform, because... Like, and when I died, like, immediately upon entering the, the level, I basically knew that this was gonna be a problem. So I didn't even try, also I think this section was, like, entirely laggy for me. All of the UFO things. Yeah. Uh, so, uh... Yeah, so I'll probably, yeah, hit, like, basically whenever I, like, die to a bit, like, I can see the pig coming, but because of the delay, like, the very slight delay between, like, with how I play off the recording and the dropped frames, yeah, I, I die quite a bit to, like, enemies in pits, just, oh, this is, uh, this was not very good, yeah, I don't even know. Like, I'm sure my, uh, commentary was pretty much angry. Pretty much just I'm having to not much else besides just struggling to get through the level. Oh. Uh, but yeah, I think whatever the problem was, it was something that was just with this particular recording session, because the other levels also had this problem, just not to the extent that this level did. Also, uh, I suppose I should comment, well, yeah, we've already seen a, a, a Firefly level. I don't recall any problems recording that Firefly level, so... Yeah. Why am I... Oh, yeah, I, I always like to wait for the counters from the bonus to disappear. I don't know why. It doesn't matter. Um, what, why am I standing here? Okay. Like, also, uh, also, this is the uh, exit for the skull route. I'm going back into it because there are, uh, boxes. Oh, what great. What am I doing here? Yeah. Um. Will I be trying to go backwards steering? I don't think I will. Like, I'm sure, like, people can. All you really have to do is just remember where the pits are. And which, I suppose if you're really familiar with the game, it's no problem to do, but, uh, I'm not, like, I, I know, like, where all the gyms and stuff are, but I don't 
really care to remember where a specific pit stop. <laughs> yeah, right there. A bunch of dropped frames and me just running into the rat. Because these uh, UFOs apparently take up a lot of uh, power. I don't know. Are these things UFOs? They, they look like UFOs. That was a really lucky uh, slide there because I think uh, it looked like it was a... Uh, uh, like I was dropping a bunch of frames during it also, I don't know why. I think I'm just waiting for the computer to catch up before I move on. 46 boxes. Yeah. So now I have to go back into the level and do the, the skull route. So uh, let's uh, see how painful that was. I, I think I got it in my first attempt afterwards. But I don't really remember. It's just, uh... Yeah, I'm... I guess I'm saying something probably to the effect of... What the heck was that? Um... Come on, can we, can we go? Can we move on into the level? Am I, like, debating whether or not I actually want to try it? I guess I'm saving. Uh, Yeah, hey, uh, 60 lives. I guess I only lost... two lives. I, I thought it would be a lot uh, more than that. Oh yeah, and I think I'm like wondering how uh, the gym count remained the same or something because... I had forgotten in the previous recording that uh... I missed the box, Jim, in the Piston It Away level. Uh, yeah, Night Flight, go on. I think what the problem is is that I'm just assuming that uh, I'm going to be tacking this on to the... Uh, <laughs> I think I was just assuming that I was going to be tacking it on to the... Uh, like, end of the, uh, previous video, uh, previous, uh, attempt at the level, or just doing it next, uh, episode. Uh, but then I just, then I just ended up deciding, you know what, it, this post-commentary, just, so you can see all of the speed up where the frames were dropped. Yeah, just, I'm not, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Like? Oh yeah, that, uh, I think that was a pit that you had to longer slide jump across. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. I made it to the skull. That's, uh, I don't think the PAL version is as, uh, unforgiving as the PAL version of, uh, Crash 3 in which you only, uh, get one shot with this goal, even if you hit it. Uh... But oh, wow, I was, uh, pretty lucky. So yeah, there's the, uh, gym. Yeah, I probably... Oh, okay, yeah, I think what happened there was I was just trying to, uh predict where a pit was, you know, dropped frame, whatever. But yeah, I got the gym. I don't even have to complete the, uh, just the skull. Um, so much I don't have to complete the skull path. I just needed to get the gym. It was probably, uh, halfway because they probably predicted that people would try to get the gym, uh, from the backtrack. Also, yeah, this section with all the UFOs just... Oh, yeah, that was, uh, good times with drop frames. Anyway, so, I probably shouldn't even be showing this because it's just the level, but I figure why not? I'm probably gonna die, like, 50 times during... Yep, there's a death right there. Thank you. 
So yeah, this is you know, like I said, it should have just been a, a one-time thing. I think. Uh, next video, I will be uh, doing the last two levels and the final boss. So that'll be uh, good to do. I think that rat's killed me like so many times. Uh, so, why did I spin there? What? What? Uh, right. yeah, there's, an, uh, there's another death at the hands of that rat. Because I spin just frames too late. Maybe even one frame too late, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's sexual. Like, any enemies around these UFOs just were the bane of my existence. I had a lucky predict with the spin there, I guess, after several hundred times dying to the rat. I just, you know, you have to learn at some point that the rat's gonna be there. Also, I like how you have to jump over that uh, little uh, incline there. So yeah, that was uh, the skull route for Night Flight, or at least two-thirds of it. Do the uh, gym get dance, and let's save and see how many lives I lost. I can't even walk to the save point without dropping dozens of frames. Eight lives lost for one gym. Embryo, you should be proud. So that should be it for the recording, so see you guys next time.